video circulating online show Rohingya wearing military uniforms and carrying weapons. The National Unity Government and Rohingya Civil Society groups confirmed to DVB that nearly 1,000 had been forcefully conscripted. The NUG Deputy Minister of Human Rights, Ancho Mode, said that up to 150 Rohingya conscripts have been killed so far. I think Rohingya has been one of the most vulnerable, uh, vulnerable communities in Myanmar. And uh, they have been survivors of the atrocities from crimes against humanity to genocide. Rohingya leaders have been ordered by regime authorities in Arakan State to combine a list of new conscripts. The military conscription law was activated on February 10. It stipulates that all men aged 18 to 35 and women aged 18 to 27 must serve two years, while specialists aged up to 45 must serve for three years. Yasmin Ula, the director of the Rohingya Women's Network, told DVB that northern Arakan state communities are on the brink of starvation. This may be a factor in pushing Rohingya towards the military or attempting to escape Myanmar. Rohingya are basically being starved to death. And this is to, due to infl a highly inflated rate um, for food cost, apart from rice, any other you know, goods or merchandise, everything else is heavily inflated. A Rohingya living in an internally displaced person camp near Sitri said that all recruits were promised a national registration cut from the military. The UN states that 630,000 Rohingya in Myanmar are deprived of citizenship. Many Rohingya have taken to the seas to escape harsh living conditions in Myanmar and the refugee camps of Bangladesh. A boat carrying 150 Rohingya refugees capsized off the coast of Indonesia's Aceh province last Wednesday. Six bodies have been recovered so far. The international community should pay attention seriously uh, to the voices of the people. Uh, uh, because, you know, when we are talking about the Rohingya, you know, definitely we are worried that, you know, this kind of forced recruitment will push the Rohingya farther uh, to the sea. Airstrikes carried out by the military in northern Arkansas state have led to the death of over 38 Rohingya in the past week.